how do we actually break down a complicated looking rational function into these partial fractions? That's the process of partial fraction decomposition. There are three steps to this, and so we'll take it slowly and do one step in each video. The first step is the one that's most familiar, and then the others will use our answer from part one and continue on this process of decomposing this rational function. But if you think back to what we did when we worked in the other direction, when we started with these partial fractions and simplified them into this larger form, what we did was find a common denominator, which ended up being this denominator, and then we merged all the pieces into one. So as we start breaking up this larger rational function, let's start with that common denominator and think about breaking it down into its component pieces. When we built it up, we multiplied different pieces, x and x plus 1 and x plus 1 squared, together in different ways. Now let's think about breaking it down. And when we think about breaking down something like x cubed plus 2x squared plus x, hopefully that makes you think of factoring. So that's our first step, is to factor the denominator completely. And when I say completely, I mean factor it until there's nothing that can be factored anymore. The first thing you want to look for when factoring is any common factors. Before you do anything else, look for anything in common that you can pull out from all these terms. Notice there's an x in all these terms, so we can pull out x, leaving x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we need to factor this quadratic, which again, if it's been a little while, you need to remember that we're looking for two terms that look like x plus something and x plus something else. And those two unknown numbers need to multiply to one and add up to two. Because when you expand this out, this constant term at the end is what you get when you multiply the two unknown values here. And the coefficient of x is what you get when you add them together because they're each being multiplied by x and then combined. So pretty easily you can tell that should be x plus 1 in both cases because x plus 1 and x plus 1 they add up to 2 and multiply to 1. If you get completely stuck you could also use the quadratic formula and find the answers for x that you get when you solve this and then these values would be the opposites of those. So when you solve this quadratic equation x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0, your answer would be negative 1 in both cases, which means that in the factored form you have x plus 1 in both cases. So if you're ever totally stuck on factoring a quadratic, you can always back your way into the answer by using the quadratic formula. We can also write this as just x times x plus 1 squared, and that's going to be helpful for us going forward. So the next two steps are going to use this factored form and go on from here. But the first step in partial fraction decomposition is simply to factor the denominator completely.